What's up, everybody? Yo, yo. This big Dom, the wand, the magic wand, you know what I mean? How y'all doing? Let me zoom in a little bit. Let me zoom in just a little bit. All right. Bam. Can't zoom too much on the, on the selfie side. Shit. Right there is good. Right yeah. there is good. All right, y'all. We supposed to do this little podcast today. Uh, I'm about to start recording it. Is it recording right now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. recording that. So how y'all doing? <laughs> Is that we record right now? Yeah, hey, you gotta ask. Right now. You gotta ask. We record right now. Uh, how y'all doing? It's your boy Barber Man Dominique Lord Zero. It's not me. It's the entity. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell. All that good stuff. Like I said, if y'all didn't know, it's your boy Barber Man Dominique Lord Zero. It's not me. It's the entity. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell. I'm here with Dom today, aka Tank Mode. We up in this piece. We having fun. The Dom of Doms, how y'all doing? We just trying to make some things happen up in here. So, we cut this phone off. Open bit. topic for today. It is, what's today? Today is... Wednesday, May 26, 2021. Got so, him right, boy. So, we in here. It's on. It's like I always tell y'all. We just have a little bit of fun. And we just get in. It's open topic. So, Don, what you want to talk about today, man? Honestly, I could talk about anything in existence for the most part. But I'd truthfully say, I'd, I'd, I'd rather like to have you toss a subject out there or a topic or anything along that lines that we can create a dialogue from. Because, you know, this is our first time, well, my first time being with you in this setting to be able to put something out there in a, a a dynamic globus, global sphere, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because right now, you know, the rest of this world, it has everybody wanting to make a podcast or everybody making something. But a lot of these people is really talking about what they feel versus what they know. And I'm one of the people that I can say what I feel. And if I really put it to you a certain way, you'll believe exactly I what mean. I want you to believe because I feel that way. But knowledge trumps feelings. And, and nowadays, and and where we going at nowadays in time? Well, a that's lot true. Of people, but hold on, hold on. Yes, no, yes. Knowledge do trump feelings. That's true. But most people don't go off of knowledge. They work off their feelings. Like ninety. Oh yes, for sure, for sure. And, and that's exactly what I'm saying. Because a lot of people, especially not not being funny, but the truth is, especially when it comes to women and this newer generation of men, whether you call them Generation X, Y, or Z, or whatever the fucking case is, a lot of people are working on assumptions and beliefs versus verified knowledge because that's like if, if we were to go to the police and everything they say you know black people doing this doing this and doing that da 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 but the truth does not compare nowhere near close i'm sorry the 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 quote unquote factual the factual information they have doesn't replicate close okay okay, okay so if okay. i had to hold say on, anything for me say hold on hold on mm -hmm. so what what you saying is <coughs> so are you saying that most people that you deal with come in contact. You let them know y'all talk, whatever, have y'all conversation, but you give them the truth. Mm -hmm. But instead of them reacting from the truth and accepting the truth, they deal with it through their feelings. Through emotions. Through their emotions. Yes. And, they yes. Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing, what I found with everything from people that are quote unquote woke to motherfuckers that don't got a goddamn clue. It's the one thing I found out almost 20 years ago is this. If you what, what what these people nowadays want to consider or talk about being as woke, <coughs> you have to treat it like the five the five signs of death. When you work in the medical field, like I've been working for a long time, you find out it's five levels of death, and the very last one is acceptance. Yeah. But in them five faces of death, you have to realize that's the same thing you go through when you're a people's who have been oppressed almost your matter of fact, not almost, practically your entire existence. Yeah. When people don't like you or don't fuck with you or don't trust you because of your color of your motherfucking skin, don't see you for less. You know, it's like what people like right now, they say, oh, uh, these white people, these Europeans. But like I tell them, put that shit in the motherfucking box, nigga. Put it exactly what it is. It's not because you think you can't put everybody in the same box. Yeah. You can't say it's everybody that's pale skinned is the one that's got us in this situation. It's certain groups, I mean, but, I mean, it's certain people in certain diasporas. I mean, me personally, though, I, I mean, I understand the situation with 
you know, the Black Lives Matters and the, the color situation. Yeah. Let me say this. Let me say hold this. On, I just want to say one thing. I just want to say right. one thing. All right. say Black Jesus. Lives Matter is owned and created by Jewish white men. It was not created by brown skinned motherfuckers like us. It was not. Those are the people who we see now in the front, no, no, but those are not the people who created it. Some Jewish people created well, who, whoever it. Whoever created it, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know personally, so I can't speak. I, I didn't know personally myself till I looked but, it up. But I know this. I know this. I understand the situation and everything, but a lot of people gotta understand the the most most problems that they put on themselves is from themselves. Every time that they do something that's going to hurt them, that's going to pull them back, going against the grain of what they believe in, doing all kind of shit right, that they right, don't, that right, they don't right. really, that they don't, that they don't personally believe in. Because sometimes you got to think about this. Your truth is your truth, my nigga. Mm -hmm. A motherfucker can tell you anything they want to tell you, and it can be 100% true, and if you don't believe it, that's on you, and if you want to have a different truth about right. it. Right. But that's but, personal, but, that's but, personal but, preference. And so I did that. I did is, that. So what I'm but understand this, this if on, I may hold say. On, hold on. Hold on. So what okay. I'm saying is this. When you're a person that ain't got what you want. Yes. Then that's because of your decisions that you made. That ain't because of nobody else. I tell everybody you got. Not necessarily. Hold on, hold on, hold Not on. necessarily. Hold on. Hold on. I tell motherfuckers all the time you got choices and decisions. Mm -hmm. You got a billion choices. But you only get two decisions. You either, you, you know what I'm saying? You only get the you only get the decision if you want it or, or you're not. Yes, because it because that's the thing, a, and I'm glad you said that. Because the thing about it is, hold on, because the thing about it is, is this when you have your choices, if a motherfucker put you put a choice in front of you where they say, Okay, all right, Dom, this is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you this job doing this. Uh, working on houses, making X amount of money. You can do this job over here. You can do this one. You can do this one. You can do this one. Do this one. 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 But then you still turn around, and then you hit the street, and you sell some dope, and you catch a case. The first thing you want to do is blame a motherfucker. Not saying you, but I'm just saying. I'm not saying you. I'm just saying. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Spending the motherfucker saying you and in general. So it's like motherfucker. You can't be mad because. Right. I gave you all these opportunities right. to make. But see, okay, hold on, uh, hear me I don't out. mean to interrupt you. I want to say, hear me out. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. Okay. So it's okay. like, yo, hear me out. So it's like, it's like, motherfucker, if you put yourself in a position, yeah, we all grow up in a, a, a product of an environment. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when you got thousands of choices in front of you, mm -hmm. and you still choose to make the choice that's going to harm you, mm -hmm. you can't be mad at a motherfucker and then blame a motherfucker outside of that because facts. of yourself. Facts. It, because the thing about it is, the thing about it is. Yeah, yeah, racism is real. Yeah, all that other shit, and so okay. on and so forth, and all that shit is real. So let me ask but you a question. I, don't, time, I, don't, I, want, I actually want to interrupt you on this to ask uh, you a question. So in and of that, from what you said, in actual real life, your actual real life, how many motherfuckers do you know has been given a motherfucking chance just like that? A lot. I know a lot of motherfuckers been given. Oh no, 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 no! I don't mean on a lot. I mean like let's say. X amount out of 10 or X amount out of 50 to 100. Uh, uh, the vast majority of people you know, how many people say, hey, I got, I got, I got a plan. For, I got this plan right here. And on this plan, I got about 10 to 15 different outs that can make you a person. It doesn't regardless if you could say you're making a guaranteed 25, 35, 45, 55 plus thousand a year. But I guarantee you, you have an ability to, to take care of yourself and take care of your family if you if you are able to show up and do your position every day, no, no, I've been introduced to some of the same. This is why. Hold on, but I got I got a lot of people had the opportunity. They don't no, take it, no, 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 no. I'm gonna be honest. It. <laughs> it's not ever. It's not a lot of people. Cause this is why it's not a lot of people. I, I, it blew my mind to find this to be a fucking <laughs> truth. And it's not just black people. There are people that are not willing to take these positions. Because they haven't, they've, they've had so much pride in themselves because of fear of what it looks like to not have pride, that they don't put them in the position to be to be in them places. Like for myself, for instance, I've always been a, a people person. I've always been that way. So like a lot of people, they see me making positions or making moves and doing things and having thousands of dollars in my bank account. And they be like, hold on, let me say this, let me say this. And they be like, well, oh, you was lucky, you was lucky. Nigga, I wasn't motherfucking That's lucky. I actually went out there and put myself in that position, regardless of if I believed That's I could do I it or said, not, though. or if I could even try to do That's it. That's what I just said, though, Dom. You got to think about this. No, I, I have. I have. And this is why, why I'm, I'm agreeing with what you're saying. I'm not discounting anything you're saying. But I realize that when you say it, you have to look at it as 
a conundrum. You have to literally look at it like a, a, a tornado uh, uh, scenario. There's the beginning of the storm, there's the eye of the storm, and there's the end of the storm. Man, okay, I'm gonna say this. So if you tell tell me if you motherfucking 18 years old and you ain't got no goddamn license or fucking uh if you hold no, on, no, no, no. if you 18 years old and you don't have a license to your car, you, you let me talk. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. I'll right, let you speak. Hold on. Okay. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If you fucking 18 years old and you don't have a goddamn ID to go get you a fucking job. That's because you no, chose not to let, go and get it. Nigga, that's what I'm saying. No, it's because your ass, it's not because you chose not to go get yes, it. Yes, you did. Yeah, because at 18, a, you not, are legal to get you know, an ID, a talk, state ID. Let me talk, my nigga. So this is what I'm saying. The thing, what I'm saying is, it ain't just because you, you ain't just want to go get it. The key to it is, you ain't got no concern about your personal life. True. That's true, what I'm saying. Because true. if you're 18 years Depending old. Depending on this, the area you're no, in, it, the no, situation, you, like you, you said earlier. You can be from the fucking deep ghetto, nigga. But you 18 years old, you know goddamn well that you need an ID to go to get you a job or do whatever the fuck you For need sure. to do. And that's and what you, I'm saying. And you complaining you ain't got no job. But then when the motherfucker. That's because you didn't apply yourself to go and do it. Because when getting you, an ID is easy. Getting a driver's license but, is hard. But, but this is what I'm saying, though. Well, not but hard, but. Yeah. No, you know, you got to go through your steps. Yes, but this exactly. Is what I'm saying. Exactly. But the thing about it is, is 90% of the motherfuckers nowadays that be complaining and bitching and talking about motherfuckers is tearing them down. They ain't got no opportunities. They ain't got shit coming to them. Mm -hmm. These are motherfuckers mm -hmm. who really ain't doing shit. Real only, shit. Only but, thing but they on. doing I, is me, sitting around and complaining. But in reality of life, they don't want to tell the mm -hmm. truth and say, mm -hmm. I don't have no concern for my personal your life. Your personal because self. Because if I had concern for my personal then you life wouldn't be my moving down self, that road. I would go get my shit. Mm -hmm. I would go do it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be pointing my finger at this motherfucker saying Real that shit. I can't get Real it because shit. he hold me back. I'll be getting it because I I, I may say, to do. It, but people don't want to get up and do shit because no, they fucking lazy. No, no, but no, but this is what I was saying to you earlier, and I've said it many a times beforehand. This is when we have to break down the individualness, the the the, the individual the individualness of <coughs> us as quote unquote black people and white people. Y'all may not notice, but I notice amongst y'all people, and y'all have it more. But amongst us as black people, we have two a typecast system of two people. We have niggas and black people. Just because you're a nigga, no, I'm being, you know what I'm about to say. If you a nigga, that don't mean you can't have black tendencies. That means, you know, you handling your business, you taking care of your family, blah, blah, blah. But if you're a black man, you can have nigga tendencies because you as a black man, you said, you know what? I want to be this way, that way, that way, and that way, and that way. So I can get along in society and create my moves. And not have to deal with people looking to me because myself is a black man. I'll be honest. I'm, 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 I, when I was younger, I called myself a nigga and I'm quote unquote moved as a nigga. But it wasn't until I got older I realized, wait a minute, I'm a black man making nigga moves. So that made me realize I'm a black man All with right. nigga tendencies. All right. Well, but the thing, listen, hold on, listen, let me hold break, on. Let me break it down. Part. Break it down. Break it down for those All right. who don't understand. So what, what I mean when I'm breaking it down on this level, on the level is this. If you are a young black man, you can make any motherfucking move you want to make. But the thing is, how you move and the way you arrange your words will dictate how people treat you, how they trust you, and how they will fuck with you. Because it isn't about what you say, it's how you say it. Nigga, I'm 34 years old and I can call a woman a bitch without saying bitch. And she know that I just called her a motherfucking bitch, but she can't say I called her a bitch. I can go on my motherfucking job and have an argument with my boss, my CEO, or anybody else and express myself such a way that they ain't got no choice but to think about what the fuck I said. Basically, and they gonna see their problems in they self. Basically, you, you keep it professional with them. You saying okay? I can I can no, cuss you no, out. No, 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 no. It's more it's like than saying I can cuss you out without saying the fucked up words towards you. <coughs> make no, you no, 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 no. What I'm saying. No, no. It's saying? this. Let me prove to you, especially if and this the thing though. This is the greatest key. If you know your motherfucking right, not because you believe it, not because your feelings say you're right, but if you say nigga, I'm motherfucking right, and I can point you from beginning to the end and prove to you why I'm right. That's why I can say what the fuck I want to say to you. But that's what, that's what I'm saying, though. So motherfuckers don't want to. Motherfuckers don't want to stand up and, and, and make that decision. Yes, because it starts because off. They rather they rather point the finger at the next motherfucker instead of saying, 
Hey man, this is the decisions I'm making. Not saying because sometimes, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. sometimes, and we're not exactly, talking, exactly. We're not talking about the. We're not talking about when you being held back <coughs> by a person. We ain't talking about. <coughs> that. We're talking about you, you being accountable yourself. for your fucking self. Yeah, you holding. That's yourself the key. Back. Be accountable to your words and your actions, because when you're a kid, you walk around with an umbrella above your head. I call it the umbrella effect. And the cold part and the sad part is, this motherfuckers, that's between 16 to they, even in their 30s, that live with their parents and they live with somebody above their head that either handles their bills, handles their business, speaks up for them instead of them speaking up for themselves and will step in to handle their business for them instead of handling it for themselves. That's across the motherfucking board. That ain't got shit to do with nobody's color. Yeah, because I've seen Mexicans, blacks, whites, everything else. <coughs> and you know what? I, it, 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 it's, it's that too. It's because you're not handling business. But because you know what it is? You it's because you stuff. walk around <laughs> with motherfucking fear on your heart. That's right. I'm going to tell the YouTube universe, everybody else, that I this is my story and my, my testimony that made me change my life as a big motherfucker. I'm 34 years old right now. But <coughs> so when I was 22 on, years old. This, after you say this. We're going to close up. Right, right. Oh, yeah, that's one of your people? No, no. Cut up? Go, go ahead. Okay, okay. We're going to take a quick break. Okay, so I want to I wanna put this I want to put this to the world. So when I was in my, I was 21 years old when I first became a CNA. One, one day, I'm going to be funky. I went through a motherfucking dry spell as a man. I needed me some cutty. And I didn't, I, I, I didn't know nobody around me. So my third, I think my third or fourth paycheck, man, I had uh, got paid. And I was like, man, my check was like fourteen or fifteen hundred. So I'm like, yo, I'm about to go. I don't got a car, but I'm about to catch the motherfucking city bus. I'm about to go to the baddest mall we got in our city, and I'm about to go get clean. And I'm about to talk to every woman that looks like she's single. She ain't got a man around her. So the first, I told myself, I was, was going to talk to a hundred women. So the first fifteen women, I ain't gonna lie to you, I struck out like motherfucking thunder on the ground, boy. The shit was an embus. It was bad, bro. I was I was missing like a motherfucker. But by the time I got to my mid twenties, I realized that wait a minute, women are different. All these they're, they're different, different. They're different women. None of these are just oh, it's a girl. She got a vagina. If I talk a certain way, she gonna fuck with me. No, no, no. It was literally me having to realize it's about how I approach them that will create a perception of me, right? right. <laughs> so yeah. when I when I started going, so by the time I got, to, I'll never forget. My twenty set my twenty seventh woman. I went up to her. I got her number. My 28th, 29th, and thirtieth woman. I got their number. Before when I got to thirty five, I was still so motherfucking cocky because I figured out the secret on how to talk to women. Just talk to them. And it, no, it wasn't just talking to them. It was literally looking at the woman and you say and then like people say, "Can't nobody judge me with God." Bullshit. I'm judging everything in every motherfucking body. Life crazy. is a no. That's that's serious, Repeat nigga. This. How you get from your destination? You right, hold on. I say this. You leave your job right up. now. And how you get home? How you get how, how you get home? You judge how you gonna get home. Listen, listen, listen. This is what I'm saying. To wrap it up, basically what you're saying is, and we physically close down. Basically what you're saying is, whether you trying to get a job, whether you trying to hold on, we physically close. Mm -hmm. Whether you trying to get a job. Whether yep. you're trying to get a woman, whether you're trying to get a house, don't a car, be afraid or whatever. This is what I'm saying right here, y'all. Don't blame nobody because you can't get nothing. Not if somebody don't blame you nobody back. but on. yourself. Let me, let me talk, Hold bro. yourself accountable. Let me talk, bro. Don't blame nobody but yourself. <clears throat> that's all you gotta understand. Amen. If somebody's holding you back, then that's a different situation. But in the in the grand scheme of things, the majority of the time you're holding yourself back. We're holding ourselves back. So this was fun, open topic. We finished to go. Like y'all. Love y'all. It's on. It's your boy Barber Man Dominique Lord Zero. It's not me, it's the entity. Like and subscribe. We here with Dom, aka Tank Mode. And if he quit bullshitting, y'all can hear some music on my page. <laughs> but you know, that's another motherfucker. Peace, peace, story. family. Y'all be it's good. On. We love y'all. We out.